Now, I don't know a lot about Russia, but I am familiar with a few things that come out of the motherland. The first is Stoli Vodka, properly known as Stoli Style. Vladimir Putin horseback riding shirtless memes and the Russian Mr. Beast. I'm not even kidding. There's a Russian YouTube channel. I think it's one of the biggest in Russia that literally just takes Mr. Beast's videos, recreates them with a squad meant to emulate the Mr. Beast crew, and they go as far as stealing his thumbnails and photoshopping their faces over his. Russians just play by different rules, I guess. I mean, we've seen it in all the Rocky movies, every hockey movie ever. The Russians are always the bad guys for some reason. And TikTok is no exception, unfortunately. Enter Evgeny Bugayev. He's a Russian fitness influencer with a TikTok account, almost 200,000 followers, and he apparently plays by his own rules, which consist of, you know, grab a girl, take your shirt off a lot, do really creepy shit with the girl, and make stuff that is completely nonsensical to where you watch it and you're left going, what the fuck? Like most fitness influencers, Evgeny started out doing, you know, some workout videos, and then he quickly found out you can just scratch that and do a bunch of weird shit with scantily clad fit women, and you get a bunch of views. Not that bad to get started, showcasing his upper body strength. I like the 420 friendly socks by our female model here. Also my man in the background just spinning around aimlessly uh, really heightens the experience for me. Uh, the captions are in Russian, believe it or not. Fortunately, we live in an era with Google handles my email, tells me where to go on a map, and handles my Russian translation at the touch of a button. What's going on? Have you seen this? Well, I have now. <gasps> okay, getting a little bit weirder. Got the furry tied up on the hand railing here. The caption says, look to the end. What would you do with the girl like that? Well, certainly I would start by saying, ma'am, it appears that your wrists are both zip tied to this hand railing here. Can I offer you assistance and get you unbound? Not sure what he's suggesting. I don't want to go down that road. So the caption on that one is, she wants you to do it, which I don't, are you suggesting if you accidentally run into a stranger on the street like that, she wants you to, she wants you to do that? I, I mean, try it out, dude. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna go the same way. It won't be as cool without music in the background, but maybe this is just how strangers greet each other in Russia. like new age TikTok musical theater. The caption on this one translated is woman caught in the clutches of a male. <laughs> it is every young boy's fantasy to be the knight in shining armor when that hot girl walking outside of the Louvre accidentally runs into a light post, falls over and you're there to catch her and immediately make out with her afterwards. I gotta say, there's a lot of almost kissing going on, and I do appreciate this as a Christian Minecraft server. To not actually be touching lips uh, is helpful for uh, my conscience and the viewing of my audience. I mean... I don't really know what I'm watching, but I feel, I have this weird feeling. This is like modern day theater as Broadway dies because of the lack of attention span of these next generations. Uh, this choreography, a masterpiece. Uh, I don't know what the message or the fucking point of it is. Wow. Wow. Just beautiful though. <laughs> Caption is, do you believe in friendship between a man and a girl? I mean, if this is what uh, being friends with a girl is, I'm not sure my wife would be super pumped about that, to be honest. A little bit different than the female friendships I have in my life, but again, Russians, they play by different rules, like I said. Caption here, you need to pay attention to people before losing them. Oh, she didn't pay attention to him and he's surrounded by little girls? What? Just a classic spread eagle push-up plank doggy style sex simulation in the middle of a park. 
Uh, pretty standard stuff over in Russia. Fortunately, uh, or unfortunately, I should say, it looks like America TikTok got a hold of this account. Uh, some of his earlier ones, I was reading the comments, they were all in Russian, but now we're getting, uh, come on, man, there's kids in the back. Y'all do this in public? <laughs> It's not too late to delete your account. <laughs> Russia, are you okay? Captioned, how a girl dreams about it, and what exactly? We write in the comments. Well, he left it up to the comments, and they have concluded that he should go to jail. Situation. It took 35 TikToks. Finally, something that makes sense. I cannot stand it when they put the watermelons all the way on top of the coffee filters at the supermarket. It's impossible to reach. It's a good thing she didn't see that stool that was right next to her the whole time. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to do her the favor, uh, which gave him the right to then scoop her up off the ground and walk out the store with her. I would die to be a fly on the wall in these writer room sessions. Okay, hear me out. We take a watermelon, put it on top, of the coffee filters out of reach. Ooh, go on. She's reaching, she's reaching up high. She can't get it. Damsel in distress, right? I like this. What's the story arc? Evgeny comes in, kicks the step stool out of the way, grabs the melon, picks her up, walks out the store with her. Yes! Yes, you've done it again! <laughs> oh, so beautiful. That's all in Russian, of course, but man, that's probably a trip in there, isn't it? Now give me love. Oh, this one I love. This one's good. The caption is, be more attentive to each other. Do you get the point? And what you have is, the man looks down at his phone, just for a moment, his pregnant girlfriend or wife, takes off, pops out a six-year-old kid and was with another guy within 10 seconds. So guys, put down your cell phones right this moment, pay attention to your girl, or that baby's about to go to another daddy. See, what, 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 what? God, it's so annoying when girls don't know how to use the urinal in the men's room. Fortunately, Evgeny was there to lead her to the stall where she could do her business. Not the strongest writing in this one, personally. Uh, came across a little flaccid for me. If I were to pen this one myself, I would have had a rip up to that urinal, pull him down, fire off a massive turd. Then Evgeny goes, Aah! with like a cute little sound effect over top, picks the turd up out of the urinal, does a handstand, doing some shoulder presses while he juggles the turd with his feet. Meanwhile, she's crying and then they kiss at the end. That is a viral TikTok right there. Honestly, I don't know why I'm not a producer. Oh, he's captioning in English now. He's finding his new audience. <laughs> it's getting a little weirder and more sexual, but equally as pointless and dumb. I mean, so far it's just been a little creepy and weirdly aggressive towards women. Uh, now it's just full on sexual predation here. Uh, but like I said, Russia different rules, I guess. I don't, TikTok, uh, I don't even think you can say fuck on TikTok, so I'm impressed that that one's still up, to be honest. Then the very next one with this thumbnail, that's bound to get some clicks. This guy's just getting more flagrant with every video, huh? Girls love when a guy flirts with her. Do they though? So I'm reading through the comments here and it sounds like they had one of their accounts get banned and this girl's saying you had the audacity to make a new account. It also sounds like they had a video that they deleted that's going around the internet because it was so uh, offensive. I don't, I haven't been able to find it. But judging by how things have been progressing throughout these last few TikToks, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just like full blown uh, sexual assault or something. It's set to like some Bruno Mars or some cute music, obviously. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, the old don't show your stomach or I'll beat the piss out of you look. Complimented by the caption, a man can do what a girl cannot do. <laughs> Sorry ladies, but I bet you can't do this. 
How's it feel to be inferior? I'm thinking right now of this macro picture of all the little three to 10 second videos I just watched wondering why the fuck, why do these exist? 15 years ago, 10 years ago, before social media, none of these videos would be necessary or make sense, but now it's a way for someone to cultivate a following. It really is just a crazy fucking time to be alive, isn't it? It really is a blessing and a curse, isn't it? When technology made it so there's really no gatekeeper for who can make, create, and upload content for people to consume. Uh, it creates amazing opportunities for some, but then we have to deal with shit like this. And sometimes it's like, fuck, is it really worth it? I don't know. Would you guys give up seeing your mom's Facebook status updates and doom scrolling Twitter at one o'clock before you fall asleep? in order to not have to deal with people like Evgeny Bugayev. These are life's riddles with no easy answer. In the meantime, thank you so much for enduring the pain alongside me. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, it would mean the world if you do. Make sure you stand up out of that chair, pull down those pantalones and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Leon Lush. Been streaming Mondays, Thursday nights, every single week. Love to see you over there. Shop.leonlush.com for your Brainworms merch. We'll see you in the next video, man. Peace.